With continuing coverage now of the local priest facing child pornography charges, right now, Father Sean Radigan is on suicide watch in jail. Just this afternoon, the Diocese of Kansas City, St. Joseph, explained why it took five months to arrest him. Bishop Finn wrote, quote, I deeply regret that we didn't ask the police earlier to conduct a full investigation. In December, the diocese said they did show police the pictures of underage girls from Radigan's computers, but they say police told them while troubling the images did not constitute child porn. Five months later, Bishop Finn says he contacted police again because he says Radigan violated the church's orders to stay away from children. And we've also learned more about what Radigan did during those five months. We, our team coverage continues now. Well, Cynthia Newsom is live in Independence with more on that. Cynthia. Well, shortly after Father Radican attempted suicide in January, he was actually sent out of town for psychiatric evaluation. Now, when he returned in late March, he stayed with his mother until the diocese decided exactly where they were going to send him. Now, in a statement, a Bishop Robert Finn said that the Sisters of St. Francis of the Holy Eucharist kindly agreed to have him assist them by saying Mass for the Sisters. I restricted him from participating in or attending any other events where there were children present. Dennis Coday, managing editor of the National Catholic Reporter, said the statement answers some questions as to what happened between December and when Father Radican was relocated in March. We, we know Father Radican left the parish uh, in January after a suicide attempt. We know that uh, he was not, as far as we can tell, he was not removed from ministry. He was reassigned as chaplain to the Sisters in uh, Independence. And so he was functioning as a chaplain at that site. He wasn't removed from ministry. And tonight, many people are wondering why Father Radican was not immediately removed from the ministry when there were allegations first surfacing about his possession, his alleged possession of child pornography. We hope to learn some answers when Father Radican appears in court on Monday at 1.30. Right now, he is on suicide watch in the Clay County Jail. Reporting live, Cynthia Newsom, NBC Action News. Well, former victims of pastoral sexual abuse are speaking out tonight. They are outraged with the Diocese of Kansas City St. Joseph saying it went back on its word. Beth Vaughn is live with their story. Beth? Yeah, Elizabeth, I spoke with several victims today who were in pure disbelief. The 2008 settlement included commitments made on the part of the diocese that all 47 victims involved believed would protect the next generation. Well, after yesterday's news, their trust has been shaken. One of those men, Tom Caffrey, his then 15-year-old son was sexually abused by a priest man, named in that 2008 case. Son. Almost 30 years later, he says his son has trouble keeping a job and finding purpose in life. So when Father Sean Radigan was charged yesterday with three felony counts of child pornography, Caffrey's anger swelled because, again, his trust in the Catholic faith had been rocked. You know, you let him serve Mass and, you know, be around Father and and, and father takes advantage of it, that's, uh, you know, an extreme violation of trust. The attorney who represented all 47 victims in that 2008 case is investigating the diocese now. Reporting live from downtown, Beth Vaughn, NBC Action News. We'll continue developing the story tonight on NBC Action News at 10. The police department talks to us about how the diocese handled the information about Radigan and if the diocese acted in a timely manner. As always, we'll have the latest developments in the case on our website, NBCActionNews.com.